All right, so when it comes to long-range precision shooting, we really do live in the golden age for being able to pick the right projectile for your purpose in long-range precision shooting. So if you guys have been following me around out of time, you know that uh, I, do, I do several different types of long-range precision shooting, whether it's long-range hunting, ELR shooting, 1,000 yard, 600 yard matches. Um, and for each one of those different things that I'm doing, I typically have a different load, a different bullet that I have picked uh, to suit those needs for each one of those purposes. So if you guys followed the load development video that I did a while back, in that video we developed a load strictly for ELR in my 6mm Creedmoor. That was the purpose for that load. Now obviously I've shot that same load in several different videos uh, since then and it actually is a great load, thing performs at any distance, but it was developed with the purpose of planning for being able to shoot out to extreme distances. And we have been extremely successful with that sense. Now how do we go about doing that? Um, I wanted, because I'm shooting out to extreme distances, I wanted the highest ballistic coefficient bullet and I wanted to be able to run it as fast as I could. So the parameters that I picked were the a highest ballistic coefficient bullet being in the most consistent. My testing has been the 110 Match King, so we picked the 110 Match King and we wanted to get it up above 3100 feet per second. So that was the load that we, and we developed a load that had really good standard deviations um, and is really consistent and has been a winner and we've shot this thing out to beyond on 2,500 yards um, with great success. So that was just an example of picking a the right bullet for your particular purpose in long range shooting. Now, there's a big animus these days toward leaning toward everything towards developing the highest ballistic coefficient bullet that you can, um, that, that a company can, and marketing these super high, super sleek ballistic coefficient or super sleek bullets with really high ballistic coefficients. And that's great. And high ballistic coefficients to a point do give you the flattest trajectories as long as you can get them up to the right enough velocities that's a that's a whole nother discussion which we've had in the past um but high ballistic coefficients are fantastic for that purpose of be getting you the flattest trajectory but sometimes a, the bullet with the highest ballistic coefficient isn't really going to be the best bullet for your purposes in long range shooting even if you're shooting a thousand yard match so when I'm picking a bullet for my F class, my 1000 yard F class. Um, this year, the bullet that I'm shooting, I actually was planning to shoot a different bullet, but I, because of the whole thing going on and all the ammo being so hard to find and bullets and everything, and components and all that, um, I wasn't able to get enough of the bullet that I had planned to shoot. So I re reverted back to a bullet that I've shot for quite a while, the 183 Match King, which is a pretty high ballistic coefficient bullet in a 7mm. But it is not by any means the highest ballistic coefficient bullet um, and is actually outperforms at a thousand yards in consistency um, over the 197 Match King which I also shoot very regularly I um, have very good loads worked up for it as well but that 197 Match King being a super sleek bullet yes it's got a slightly flatter trajectory out there to that thousand yards but it's not as consistent and you'll find Typically, and this is not true in all cases, but more often than not, and at least in my, what I have found, is that a super sleek bullet with a really what's called a secant ogive. And if you guys have seen my bullet reviews, we've discussed secant, secant and tangent ogives. So a secant ogive is a bullet like this 197 Match King sitting here that has a an ogive. The ogive being the part of the bullet that comes to the point. Um, the, a really sleek ogive, meaning that there is almost no radius, that it comes straight to a point. Um, whereas a tangent ogive, something like this 180 grain uh, 30 caliber Sierra Match King, both these being Sierra Match King bullets, but completely different designs and would be great for different purposes. So this 197 Match King, I picked this bullet for my ELR loads. Um, have had great success. Um, we've shot that bullet. My longest shot to date was cold bore at 2,643 yards, and that was with that 197 Match King, and it flies just absolutely flat as could be out those at those at those extreme distances because it has that high ballistic coefficient. And it's, it enables that the the ballistic coefficient takes over beyond the velocity at those extreme distances. Um, within a thousand, within a thousand yards, really my trajectory is fairly similar between the 183 and the 197 because I'm getting more velocity out of the 183, but I'm getting much more consistency out of the 183, meaning it's much easier to load for, even though. It has a almost the same ogive. It has a slight bit more radius to it, allowing it to be more consistent. Now you'll find that 
a tangent ogive is easier to get a good load for, meaning a more consistent load for. But you're giving up that ballistic coefficient. So when I'm shooting my 600 yard matches, I load the 107, uh, 107 Sierra Match King. The 107 Sierra Match King, pretty high ballistic coefficient bullet for a six millimeter, but not the highest ballistic coefficient by any means, the 110, um, far superior, but it has more of that tangent ogive um, allowing me to be more consistent. And it's proven to do that. Um, obviously, not the bullet that I'm gonna pick for the ELR purposes. Um, in long range hunting, um, you guys have seen that I've been doing a lot of long range ballistics gel testing testing and there's several different purposes for that so um, I keep explaining now I've been asked several times um, why I'm testing so many match bullets for long range at, at long range in ballistics gel um, to simulate long range hunting and there's a very good reason I've explained this several times but we're going to break it down this video um, for just to explain as part of this video so if you guys follow um, the Gunworks crew, uh, the guys that do the, they're basically specialized in long range hunting. Um, they do, they've done several different studies, real life on animals at distance, and they have found that typically a match bullet, um, at distance, um, long range distances, you know, where the bullet has really started to slow down, that the match bullets are outperforming terminally, um, a bullet that is a designed for hunting because um, for a couple of reasons. One, the match bullet is able to retain more velocity. Um, lots of times those hunting bullets, even though they're supposed to open up at certain at certain velocities not always don't always perform like they're supposed to and if that's the case um, it a, a good example would be the 500 yard 65 Grendel test that we did um, in that test you saw that because the bullet had slowed down so much even though it was the the uh, 123 grain SST bullet um, the bullet had slowed down significantly and it, even though it was still going at a velocity that should have, uh, by manufacturer specs, been able to open up and expand, the bullet did no expansion and literally made a straight pinhole all the way through two blocks and never slowed down. So that was a good example. Whereas when we've shot the six, when we shot the uh, six arc out at at 400 yards with the 109 Burger, a a long-range hybrid target bur bur hybrid target bullet so a bullet made strictly for super sleek hunt or super sleek match bullet um, it w did so much more damage um, at that distance now obviously that's a hundred yards further it's going much faster it's not a great comparison we are going to do many more tests at long range actually just before I started this video I put some ballistics gel I just started melting off some ballistics gel so that we can uh, uh, form some more blocks and I have a couple of loads already ready to go uh, for our next couple of tests so I'm looking forward to that but the Gunworks people another reason that they're finding that match bullets are outperforming at long range hunting um, typically now not always is because you're able to get more accuracy out of them, more consistency um, if you have a bullet that's more consistent the the main the the most important part of an ethical kill on an animal is being able to shot placement, being able to put that shot in the right spot to put that animal down. And a match bullet at longer range is going to perform more consistently. And if you already have good data and you know that that shot, that bullet is going to perform to the data that you are dialing into your rifle and that bullet's going to go where you want it to go. And you're sure of that with a match bullet, I would feel much more, I would feel much more, uh, I would be much more happy to see somebody do that with a match bullet that may not expand and tumble, which is what we've seen happen in our ballistics gel test so far uh, for most match bullets is they tend to tumble, not necessarily expand, but that tumbling does just as much damage as expansion. So I would much rather see that and be able to put the bullet where it needs to go than have a bullet that's not as consistent, not going to go exactly where it needs to go. Maybe it does expand, but if it's not in the right spot, it's still not going to put the animal down. So just many different things to think about when it comes to long range precision shooting, different types of long range precision shooting, and the bullets that we pick. Um, I see all the time uh, people on the forums, on the different Facebook pages and groups, people putting up posts, hey, I just built a new rifle, um, 6.5 Creedmoor, what bullet should I pick? And 
inevitably if you scroll down underneath that post you're gonna see that every recommendation at least 90 percent of them are right off the top of the bat the highest six five six five high, highest ballistic coefficient six five caliber bullets on the market nobody tends to ask well what's the purpose now I, I say that loosely nobody there are several people that are clued in and do ask but for the most part you just see people naming off these super high ballistic coefficient bullets not knowing not even asking what the purpose is for this rifle yes you plan to shoot long range but what type of long range um, and really no, and automatic instead of automatically suggesting just the highest ballistic coefficient bullet, suggesting the right bullet for that purpose. So that's what this video was about. Um, I hope this was helpful. If you're getting into long range shooting or working up loads and things like that, um, just know that going straight for the highest ballistic coefficient bullet all isn't always going to suit your needs the best. So I hope this was helpful. I'll see you guys next time. I'm out.